guys, Miss Rowan is here and I'm back once again to read a story to you before you go to bed. Anyway, so the title of the story is The Bears We Know, written by Brenda Silsbeck. The Bears We Know There is a house way at the end of our road. It is a big brown house with many windows and a long staircase. And this is where the bears live. We have never seen the bears. But we know they are there, and we know what they do. They sleep late every day, and nobody ever wakes them up or tells them they are sleeping late. Because you know you never wake up or talk back to bears. When they get up, they sit on the long windowsill and drink coffee and pick tasty crumbs out of their fur. They watch everything that goes on and growl whenever anyone gets too close so no one ever does. They find old couches at the dump and bring them home. Jumping on them till the springs are gone. That's their exercise. Jumping. Then the bears close the curtains and watch cartoons and game shows on TV. They don't go to school and they never ever have to work. There are always lots of empty potato chips or potato chip bags in their garbage cans. Mm. Before lunch, the bears go out to their shack and have a sauna. Mm. They wear very tight bathing suits and sing all the time. Joe and I heard them singing, so we know they were singing about picnic. The house is very dirty and the bears never clean it. When it looks too clean, the bears bring in buckets of sawdust and throw it around. For lunch, the bears have vegetable milkshakes and syrup. Sometimes they make omelets. Then they stretch out before the fire and have a nap. After their nap, they make hot buttered toast and hot chocolate. Hmm. Then they sing very sad songs and cry. It's a terrible sound when all the bears cry. Wow. But soon one bear tells a joke or sings a happy song. And they eat some of more buttered toast and have a good time. Most days, they stay up very late, way past our bedtime. So we never know when they go to bed. So it goes day after day. People ask us how we know so much about the bears when we've never seen them. Well, some things you just know. There you go. The end. Okay, guys, I hope you like the story. And um, I know that we haven't been to school for such a long time. But I know, guys, you're not going to go to bed super duper late. You have to go to bed early, even though there's no school. And one more thing. You always have to clean your room, clean your environment, okay? All right, always help your mom and dad keep the 
house or your room clean, okay? Now, guys, bears are having fun in the story. We may have fun at home, but make sure that you also follow the rules, okay? Go to bed early. Second, clean after you, okay? And of course, of course, don't forget, work harder, study harder. I'm just here one message away. And I miss you so much, guys. Have a good night. Bye.